Hi, this is the first in a series of uh, fountain pen reviews that I'd like to do on video. I thought it might be more interesting to actually see the pens, you know, live than just take photos of them, right? Um, what I'd like to start with is a simple unboxing and first impressions of a set of Chinese pens that I bought from Go to School 888. Now, Go to School 888 has a good reputation with my friend, so I opted to buy from him or her. He's actually based in Hong Kong and the pens shipped to me direct from China, but his prices were really competitive and I got a good deal because I bought more than one pen. Anyway, no affiliation there, just a happy customer. So on to the unboxing. Generic blue box, no markings on the outside, might have been uh, packaged by the seller himself. Let's open that up. Okay, this first pen. The brand of this first pen is Mobile. Now what I noticed about Chinese fountain pens in general is that they either get rave reviews or people just hate them. And I'd like to know, you know, which of the two is true, actually. This is a Novo fountain pen. Oh, okay. Inside the box, my seller, is very nice, sent me this handy cloth for buffing the pen, shining it up. and. You've got a little bit of a foam cushion there in the box, useful. And plastic, generic plastic wrapper. Let's pull the pen out here. Noble Fountain Pen, medium nib, orange marble world design. Okay. I was drawn to this by the orange marble design and I have to tell you okay it's semi translucent so that you can see into the innards of the pen somewhat and you can also see that that marble patterning is actually three dimensional is part of the material of the pen which gives the pen a more substantial and interesting look okay um this is a pretty heavy pen. It's heavier than what I'm used to. And for me, I definitely cannot write with this pen posted. I have, you know, average smallish hands. Let's come let's use another pen for comparison. What you're looking at here is the Twisby and from my view they're about the same length, except the Twisby is much lighter. This one is about twice the weight or maybe even more than twice the weight of the Twisby. Okay. This is a Parker 75 Millerese. Okay. It is no longer in production but again just as a basis for comparison I'd like to show you. Okay. It is about half an inch shorter than this Noble fountain pen. On the top of the cap you'll see this triangular logo gold on blue there are no other brand markings on the pen the other thing about Chinese pens I noticed is that you might see similar designs under a different brand so I'm not entirely sure what's going on with that okay the cap is fairly heavy so when you pull it off that that you know does away with some of the weight and what I'm looking at now is a big nib. Again, to compare, let's look at the, the Twisby nib. Right? You'll see that the Twisby nib is a bit smaller than this one. Okay. And the Parker 75 smaller still more more clearly smaller right now on the nib there are some markings so let me just get my loop and take a look it says iridium point 18 kgp so that's a uh, iridium point 18 gold carat plated nib nice okay so let's just twist off the barrel. I know this is a 
uses a converter or a cartridge. All right, this is a pretty generic converter, piston type. I uh, won't know how it works yet until I actually try it, but it seems to turn fine. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to flush out this pen with water, soapy water, and some clear water, and then let it dry overnight so that I can actually write with it and see how it works.